Okay, chapter 2. Registration and Licensing of Private Security Agency. So, dito na magpo-fall yung mga nabago. Okay. So, Private Security Agency. Any Filipino citizen or juridical entity fully owned or controlled by Filipino citizens. So, definitely, hindi pwede ang mga uh, foreigners dito. Uh, may organize a private security agency and provide security services, provided that they shall not employ more than 2,000 private security professionals. So, maximum na yun, 2,000 ang, ang tao mo na ano to? security professionals, 2,000 security guards, or kung may private detectives ka, or others. Okay. So, uh, private security agency, operator, or licensee. Sino ang, or ano ang qualifications para maging isang operator? So, at least 25 years old. May age talaga siya. Then, kailangan graduate ka ng college. Must be a part owner of the company or in case of juridical entity, holder of at least one share of stock with voting rights. Must be of good moral character. Must not have been convicted of any crime or offense involving moral turpitude and must be physically and mentally fit and pass the neuropsychiatric test and drug test administered by the PNP or other similar government centers and facilities. So, pati uh, open. Uh, usually kasi ito require kapag kumukuha ng lisensya uh, license to possess, to own and possess na rel. But if you are also an operator, kailangan uh, ano ka rin, matino din yung pag-iisip mo. Kailangan normal ka. Okay. So, license to operate. A license to operate issued by the chief PNP is required to operate and manage a PSA and PT PSTA. And then, period of validity ng LTO. License to operate ang LTO, ha? The license to operate issued to the private security agency and PSTA shall be valid for a maximum period of five years, subject to renewal. So, every five years, uh, kailangan mag-renew uh, ka. Okay. Um, section 8, fees and bond to be paid. Every application for LTO shall be accompanied by a bond issued by competent or reputable surety, fidelity or insurance company duly accredited by the insurance commission. So the bond shall be used to answer to any valid and legal claim against the agency by its clients or employees. The amount of bond to be determined by the chief PNP must be reasonable and should depend on the number of PSPs, private security professionals employed. So, meron kang bond para kung sakaling may legal claim laban sa agency mo, yun yung gagamitin. Okay. Ito, isa sa nabago talaga. Administrative fee of PSAs, private security agencies. The minimum administrative fee that may be charged by PSAs to its clients shall not be less than 20% of the total contract cost. Subject to adjustment by the Department of Labor and Employment provided that additional fees shall be charged for the acquisition and maintenance of exchanges tools and equipment used for security operation by the agency or required by the clients and for the continuous deployment of PSPs in hazardous conditions. So, yun na yun. Um, 20% na ang minimum administrative fee na itcha charge ng uh, PSAs. Okay? 
And then, issuance of firearms, the PSA shall be entitled to possess firearms after having successfully passed the requirements prescribed by the Chief PNP and in accordance with Republic Act 10591 or the Comprehensive Firearms and Ammunition Regulation Act. Provided that APSA shall only be allowed to possess small arms, not exceeding one firearm for each PSP to include single post in its employ. So if you have 1,000 um, PSPs, private security professionals, then allowed ka lang magkaroon ng maximum na 1,000 firearms. Kasi nga, hindi ko pwedeng umigsid sa one firearm for each private security professionals. Okay? So, next. Chapter 3. Private security professionals licensed to exercise security profession. LESP. No applicant shall be granted license to exercise private security profession unless the applicant possesses the following qualifications. Uh, legal age, Filipino citizens, physically and mentally fit, must be of good moral character, must not have been convicted of any crime or offense involving moral turpitude. So for purposes of securing an LESP, a letter of authority to conduct training must be issued by the Supervisory Office for security and investigation agency, yung SOSHA na tinatawag. Yan yung, uh, yan ay nasa krami. SOSHA. Such training includes the pre-licensing requirements of the individual PSPs, periodic and non-periodic in-service skill refreshers for such security personnel and other specialized individual or group PSP skills development. Okay. Uh, the validity of LESP is for five years from the date of its issuance. Then section 14, sinasabi lang dyan na required talaga ang mga uh, private security professionals na mag-pre-licensing training program muna bago sila mabigyan ng LESP. And then ladderized training and education, the PNP in partnership with Private security training institutions or public institutions duly accredited by the government to provide such training education to private security professionals shall develop ladderized training. Pag sinabing ladderized training, from the word ladder, ibig sabihin meron ka nang nasimulan. Then you would go up, mag-i-improve ka in some way. Parang sa mga courses, alam niyo yun, yung uh, mga two years sa... Ano to, associate degree siya ng sabi na natin related sa computer. Then kung ladderize siya, pwede mo na siyang ituloy ng bachelor's degree. Ibig sabihin, pag ladderize program siya, meron ka ng associate degree, then ituloy mo lang siya hanggang four years, then magkakaroon ka, rin, ka na rin ng bachelor's degree. So ganun, ganun yung concept ng ladderize. Okay, so shall develop ladderize training and education which include basic security guard courses, specialized security guard courses, security of training courses, detective training courses, and candidate protection agent courses. It shall also include enhancement training, such as but not limited to supervisory trainings, personal upliftment, and other specialized trainings to place the security professional a level up from his current position. Okay, so as usual, uh, meron pa penalties dahil may mga pagkakataon na maaaring makalabag yung mga private security agencies natin sa provision. So ayan, ayun yun na lang to. Okay. 